In this video, we're going to take a look at Transformation Golf. This is our Desmos activity. And I just want to kind of talk you through how we're going to do this. This is really good practice on transformations, and it's kind of fun um, along the way, too. So here's the goal. Uh, when we're dealing with transformations, the original shape is called the pre-image. And the shape that we move, remember, transformations means we're moving. We might be flipping or rotating or sliding. <coughs> um, that is called the image. Now we have three tools to work with. So our goal is to get this shape here on the left to match up on the white shape here on the right. And we have three tools to do so. Translate, that's our slide. So we can take our, take our L shape and we can take it and we can slide it up or left or up and down. Um, our rotate tool that spins it and then our reflect tool, it flips it. So uh, you can use any of these tools and you can use them any number of times. Now, when we're doing this, you can't cross this gray box. Let me show you what happens. I wanna use a translate. Let's say I just wanna get this shape onto that shape. So I take this corner and I match it up to that corner and, and watch what happens. When it goes to the gray box, it breaks my transformation or breaks my pre-image. So that's not going to work. So what we need to do is we need to find a way to get this shape onto the other shape without going through the box. So what you might do is do something like this. You could take this um, pre-image and we could do this in two transformations. So notice I do one and since it didn't break it allows me to do a second translation or a second rotation or anything else you'd want to do. All right. So and it would look something like that. There you go. Okay. Now, let's, uh, let me show you one other thing here. Now, let's say I did a reflection, okay? And let's say I reflected it this way. I could do this, something like this. Actually, let me uh, make this a little bit of a nicer reflection. There we go. I can reflect. Notice, when I reflect, it doesn't break the shape. So I can reflect over uh, these obstacles, but I can't rotate through them, and I can't translate through them. I have to translate around or rotate around them or I can reflect over them, okay? So those are kind of the rules of the game. Um, there's going to be some different ones and a few uh, multiple choice questions along the way, um, but there's going to be one like this. There's no, um, no obstacles. It's just getting here to here, and you can do as many as you want, and let's say I do a rotation. Let's say I do a 90-degree rotation, and it doesn't quite work out, or I want to try it again. I can either edit it so I can cha change what I did, or I can hit this little X and get rid of it all together. So um, there are eight challenges to complete along with a few questions. And then there's a ninth challenge. Let me get to the ninth challenge. Now, this ninth challenge is optional. You do not have to complete this challenge. This is just totally if you want to complete it. All right, um, so you can, you can think about it. Um, if you kind of figure out the solution, it might not be that difficult, or maybe it is kind of hard. It depends on, on which way you go with this. So uh, notice there's a lot of obstacles. You really gotta kind of nail your landing here on this one. So you don't have to do this one, but if you want to, if you want a challenge, go ahead and try it. All right, so this wraps up our video on how to do the Desmos Activity Transformation Golf. Uh, Hopefully you have fun, you learn a little bit, um, and enjoy doing something just a little bit different for math class.